here, Palatino Wolf. Team MacGyver, if you, if you know what I mean. Alright, immediately, auto reticle sets the stage for the game. And green team takes the middle of the stage, and you can see how the right side of the stage, they're kind of, I mean, the left side, they're immediately being pushed over there. And when they try to go to the right side, they get immediately bullied, since you're trying to struggle. Alright. One thing we're seeing a lot from Chess is these full hops. Um, like going for a lot of full hops, actually, which I kind of like in this double setting because he puts himself in this position where he can go in for a fastball neutral air, fastball back air, just sort of like positioning himself in that way. Uh, however, doing that a lot might end up being predictable, and Peach and Pac-Man have ways to go up there and immediately challenge him. Like, for Peach, I think just like jumps, maybe even full hop up air, yeah, just you, interrupting him you, on his way up. Do you know something different com compared to the first set we saw them? Like, Sinji's the one being the aggressor right now. It's actually a lot better um, than it was before. Ling Ling was in the front trying to do things, but Sinji never got time to really set up and assist. But he's just boxing him right now. It's like, I don't need my fruit to mess with you. Uh-oh, what are you doing? That was a really unfortunate SD, especially considering that, like, the Wii team cannot afford that sort of thing. Like, they're already down, and they're fighting against a team that is oh, nice paper really favored against them. It's six stocks to four, and not only that, both of these stocks for red team are pretty healthy. The Sinji's going in right now. They're having a hard time just punish, um, dealing with his out of shield game, and he's just burying them a lot. He's getting away with it pretty free by that F smash. Oh, wow. That was so good. And I, that was really pivotal. He got locked. Oh, that looked pretty. I wish they continued it more. Yo, the, all aboard the fair train, dude. Okay, what oh, oh my god. god. I don't even know if you could have recovered from that with a proper angle, but regardless, that's chess on one stock now. Why does it feel like Sinji's trying to fight them 2v1? He's all he's like, let's go, let's go. I got these boots. Okay, one thing is that I feel like Sinji is being the aggressor this time around, and what he's doing is he's abusing Pac-Man's frame data. He has good frame data. Yeah. He really does. Forward air is kind of actually like if the hitbox is a little better, if maybe, you know. It was on a different character. It would be absolutely oppressive. You know what? He just reminded me of something. I think about a week or so ago, we were I was talking to Sinji um, on Discord about fighting Palutena, and he showed me a match where he was basically just not really using the fruit as much, not using the uh, um, well, using the fruit, but mostly aborting the hydrant strategies and just boxing with fares and nares and jabs, doing a great job of just hold, um, holding serve against Palu. That makes sense to me. Cause like what? Palo's grab like jab is what? Frame five, frame six? I think it's even later than that. It's later than that. Like she doesn't want you directly in her face. Yeah, it, see, Palo really uh, sort of excels when she's the aggressor. Um, and now we actually have even stocks across the board, but percentages are absolutely not. Oh looking so my good for god, that team. orange is a godsend for for um, edge guarding wolf. You saw that? That was twice in a row. Oh my god, okay, that trickiness on the uppie, he was definitely trying to look for like covering some off teleport angle, would have been able to kill him. Yeah. And I'm, as I'm it stands gonna... right now, it might end up being uh, a 2v1 where Ice is all on his lonesome because, yeah, might be it. Yeah, back throw gonna be just take it. Yo. And now this is, ooh, this is quite the mountain for. Uh, we have Key on deck. Throw it. Not yet. Okay, nice. Oh, he saves him. Nope. Yeah, he did a good job there. And that's all three stocks that Wolf lost, Sinji edge guarding. Yeah. So it's really good to see a big focus when you see a character with a prominent weakness that you exploit to the maximum. That first game was a great example of that. Based on the winner set versus now, I think that Sinji has really shown the most like development. Yeah. in terms of his approach. He's boxing out the Palutena. He's going off and really consistently edge guarding the Wolf, which is, I mean, I feel like Pac-Man has the tools to very reliably edge guard Wolf. He can yeah. cover, you know, sort of shut down higher recoveries. Yeah. And then he can also, you know, actually punish low uh, stuff as well. Yeah, that, I think the downward angled F till is really good for two framing. And I, I don't know how many matches you've seen where Sin just jumps off the stage and just fair, 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 you're dead. Like, that, that is a thing now. So, uh, and Wolf doesn't have enough, like, versatility offstage to, like, get away from a lot of stuff. And the orange is, like, 
instant death if he yeah. uses the double jump. Like, as soon as he's off stage, he basically needs to get back to yeah. on stage. So he can't just, like, waste time forward airing or, like, yeah. neutral airing. Like, if he neutral airs off stage, which might be his fastest aerial, I believe. Oh, my God, again! Is that his Palatina? He's dead? Oh, no! Ah, that was five seconds get in! Get him! Get him! Are you kidding me right now? I was just about to mention that Palatina might have to babysit, um, not babysit, but like take care of Wolf a little bit more when he's in danger in disadvantage because it was so easy for Sin to deal with him off stage. And but he might have some issues to deal with as well because like the last two games, the last game before, he died what twice in teleport mishaps. Uh, well, one of them was a two frame. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh oh, Hydrant. It's always fun, like when you're. Teaming up with Pac-Man, you have to worry about the Hydrant just as much as the opponent. <laughs> I feel like when you're Pac-Man, you have to worry about the Hydrant as much as the opponent. Yeah, it's like a mi little mini game. Oh, that back here, no good. Yeah, he. That was very risky by Wolf. He needs to relax on that, but he does get back on the stage. Does Wolf have a wall jump? That's a good question, but that back here is. Oh, he has that. You know, despite the super early lead for uh, for uh, Red Team with that edge guard on Palutena. Like, look at this. Only 65% has been done on ice. He's been playing immaculately ever since. It's like you realize, oh, no, I got to make no more mistakes. Yeah, good right. stuff on them for being able to stabilize because that could drain a lot of people's confidence and momentum very quickly. They have just a well-defined lead right now. Like, if you think about it, after that edge guard to start off the game, Palu has only taken 47% and Wolf has only taken 8 Disney is doing some work right now. Ling Ling is forced to really go float high in order to see if he can find a way to safely land, and it just has been... As safe I, as he would have liked it. You know, I'm actually okay. kind of surprised this stage wasn't banned. Uh, I feel like Wolf maybe doesn't like this stage that much, but Palu absolutely loves it. Platforms to extend her air combos, mm -hmm. smaller ceiling on top so that she can, you know, Wow, get you saw that? Open. That orange is broken against against Wolf. He actually attacked it with a move and it still went through and popped him off the stage. I do like the fact he's been adjusting by going for upbeat. Right there instead, you know, you can be more creative and clever and kooky with your angles. And I think, you know, there's, in terms of the fruit, they still come at you relatively linearly. So, you know, getting the right angle on up B could be the difference between dying and saving your life. Wolf we'll is starting to go for up smashes now. He tried to do it twice in a row earlier. So he's got to see if he can avoid that. Oh. Look at him. Venn diagrams on the left, on the right side. All right, Nair out of shield. Can he punish it? Apple again. Nice save by Palutena. Yeah, he's I get really. The I, the, honestly, Green Team has been doing a much better job of being there for each other. It's a true friendship story. Um, <laughs> no, actually, like there are yeah, times yeah. when like Wolf has been underneath. Like I saw earlier, Palutena was on the platform, got hit, but Wolf was underneath and immediately hit counter wow. with the up air. How is he still alive? 174 percent. Yeah, we were just talking about how he like his stocks were eviscerated the first round. Now he's just like no stocks. 174. Let's go. I mean, now that he's not being edge guarded, like how is Red Team uh, yeah, that's really going to no -no. kill him? That's a big no-no. Sinji has a prioritized um, dealing with him now. He did such a great job before, and he's probably gotten a little bit away from that. Probably because of Palatina's um, uh, being able to like save him several times in the, in, uh, so far, but this, this this can't be happening right now. This could lose him the game by itself. I'm absolutely loving Isis' play. He's careful neutral even when there's so much going on. And look at that! Immediately, like he's sort of like playing this cat and mouse game with Ling Ling, and then just all of a sudden breaks off and he's there for his teammate and actually shuts down Sinji from getting a, a real established combo. Yeah, he's, he's doing a great job right now. Almost a complete 180. Oh, Sinji almost lost his life there. What's going on? Wow, Ling Ling really uh, opts to go above the stage like that, floating, trying to avoid damage. It hasn't been that effective. We got 2v1 on the right side. All right, Nair out of shield, getting a lot of mileage out of that option. Uh oh. And we'll say that if Palu drops the stock, it's still reasonable for Red Team. It's going to be really oh. hard, but... Oh, he got the crazy hitbox on that. Oh, and the drag down. Wow. That's it for... That's it for Ling Ling, and he gets a taunt, too? Oh, and he's alive because of the... Oh. No, I don't know if he oh is still... He had a jump. That was what? so crazy. Good job, Wolf. Okay, dash attack. Stays below the stage also. What else does it not do? All right, this is good. Okay, that's definitely a smash out of shield. Good game right there. We have a tie wow. game right now. In game one was honestly just pretty convincing for Red Team. They just played well, got edge guards, got really crucial stocks. Game two, 
it and it opened with him losing his stock in the first five seconds. Chess just got yeah. erased, and they finished with a three stock. That's crazy, man, because the stage got smaller comparably to FD, so you would think it'd be more opportunities to go from one side to the other and pester Wolf off stage. but Paolo did such a much better job covering for Wolf, and that really affected the whole game. And after that, after the uh, red team wasn't able to get their stocks with the edge guards, they really struggled to kill. Palutena was living to 130, 140. Wolf lived to like 180, yeah. which is like, that should not be happening, yeah. especially in doubles. Yeah, Pac-Man Pac needs those kinds of steps for the kill. It's kind of hard for him to get them just now, organically, normally, in normal situations. And Ling Ling was having a hard time landing. Often, even in the previous set, and in now, there was a lot of times where he was put in disadvantage. He was forced to float really high, which isn't really a good situation considering what Palutena's arsenal has. And he felt like he had to do that in order to escape some pressure, kind of like wait up there by this time. And while he's doing that, guess what's happening to Pac-Man on the ground? 2v1. So like, that's, that's something, we gotta figure out something there. I'm really curious as to what adjustments they can make. I definitely feel like there's a lot that they can change. A lot went wrong in that last game. So yeah. if you think about it, when a lot goes wrong, that means that there are more clear things that you can definitely. address to actually fix. Put a positive spin on all of it, you know? I think that's why Green Team did so well. Like, I was, I was, like uh, Powell was like, I obviously did not protect you off stage, Wolf. Let me fix that right now, you know? It is my duty as a goddess to protect my teammate. You know, I feel like the beginning to this game three is going to be so important because it basically is like, does Red Team immediately start with a concise, clear answer to what happened to them last game? Or does, right or does Green Team continue the momentum that they have? Because it I, this really can go either way, and I think the beginning of this game is really going to sort of set the tone for the rest of it mm. as to whether, like, Red Team is like, okay, we shook that off, everything is now going to go our way, or whether it's going to be more of a... You know, Green Team continuing to do what they did right last time. Yeah, we're seeing a noticeable change in Sinji's play style. We're already seeing two Galaxians, but we've seen zero the first two games. He's looks like he has more time to get these items when he usually didn't uh, between the early part of this set and the last set we saw before on stream. Oh no! All right. And this is really looking like the former Red Team having such a response. Sinji taking 27%. And not much more on Lingling, Ling, only at 75, whereas Palutane is at 141, and Wolf has already lost his first stock. And the big thing is those edge guards are actually, they're amazing tech, but it doesn't keep him alive for too long. That Bell was such an amazing placement. He didn't get the conversion off of that, but it threw everyone off guard. Third Galaxian, we've got a combo here. How much? 34%? Sweet. 45. Yeah, okay. Quick, quick 45. I think that last part was a CMA. <laughs> Like, they're just ignoring Pac-Man at this point. Like, you can put a Hydra on the ledge and hang there, then we're just gonna go fight someone else. Actually, that's one thing Sinji is doing is he'll knock the opponent off stage and then he just puts a Hydra there and goes and does a 2 -meter. Yo, he's getting mileage off this black scene. He's already pulled that three times. How is he having the time to do this? I'm not really sure, but he definitely didn't seem like he had it before. Well, remember, game one, he was oh. a lot more aggressive in terms of trying to box with yeah. both of them. Game two, he was sort of... I don't know, I, it just felt like his game plan was less effective. And this time around, he's switching it up once again, kind of finding a middle ground where he's charging up his projectiles, but he's really opting for those quicker ones. You know, the Galaxian, which lasts a while and can cover so much space. Oh, nice catch with the back here. We got orange. Good job by Wolf going low because he, he knew better, but unfortunately, good job. Also, getting rid of the trampoline at the last second. And Wolf is just getting, like, just, just smacked around in terms of just offstage. And this is what you got to do, man. I always also feel like whenever you're offstage uh, and you realize you're dead, you should kind of just, oh, that's so big. No, He saved save. his teammate. Nice. It's so beautiful. That was amazing. A beautiful downer from Chess is rendered null and void. We're really seeing red team completely. Oh, he landed on the trampoline. Oh, he landed no. on the trampoline and just died for it. Three stocks go by Sinji, so we. <laughs> what, what just happened? Uh, I don't even know. I feel like the multi hits from upbeat turned it into like deep red, but he snapped the ledge before he just fell on it. He just... 140 on Sinji. How's he gonna keep this stock going? He cannot get up here by Palu. At the same time, uh, Red Team does have a lot of leeway. I mean, come on. 
three stocks on Sinji. He's basically doing what Ice did last time around. Yeah, it's crazy how that happens, right? And looks like Pal's looking for these back airs. Nair's, will that kill? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And Nair is so powerful. Ling Ling is doing a lot of stalling on the top. Of, just, well, that was really smart because he's waiting for his partner to respawn. Yeah, that, that is smart right there. Apple. Well, has an apple. Oh no! Pac-Man tries to go after the... Oh my god, it's even stocks! Oh, he tried to go after Wolf and make him get rid of the apple. He cost his life, but the fair knocks out Palutena and his and Wolf. And this is going to be so hard. The, like, especially as a Wolf. Oh, his, watch you do that. His recovery. How is he going to oh! get it back against both? The snipe on the turnip, and that's going to be a 2-1 victory. Ling Ling and Sinji moving on, where they're going to be next facing off against Ralphie and Utopian Ray. That was very beautiful. It almost, it was a 180 in terms of being able to uh, maintain stocks. Like, Palatine in the last game, stock tanking. Um, actually, no, it was Wolf. Then, which is crazy considering how he was getting destroyed in the first game off stage. And then his Pac-Man once again, swift shifting strategies, throwing them off just long enough to where he can uh, just control the game with that. Galaxian also played a big part in that in that game as well. Man, that was amazing.